Today we're going to be looking at surds. This will be the first surds video. We're we'll looking at simplifying surds. The others will be adding and subtracting surds, multiplying and dividing surds, including multiplying out brackets, uh, and rationalizing the denominator. So they'll, they'll be the ones that I'll be doing, doing later. This one here I'm just doing with uh, simplifying surds. Uh, mathematicians and uh, scientists generally use surds to make more accurate calculations than just using a uh, rounded decimal number. So this is all about uh, some accuracy and precision in work. With surds, the, the first thing that we're, we're really interested in surds is looking at uh, some square numbers. So if I can look at some square numbers first of all, and what I mean by square numbers would be the numbers that uh, we would get by multiplying uh, the first number of digits together, or any digits together. So what I have is uh, the first one would be 1 times 1, first square number would be 1. The next one, 2 times 2, would be 4. Remember, 2 times 2 is just looking at uh, 2 squared, so really 3 squared, which is the square number, would give me 9. Then 16 for 4 squared, 25, 36, 49, uh, from there we've got 8 squared, which will give us 64, we'll have 81, and then we'll have 100 squared, which will be, uh, sorry, 10 squared, which will be 100. Other numbers that, that we will use for, for some of the bigger numbers will be 11 squared, which will give us 121, 144, 169, 196, and the last one I'm going to do here will be 225, and that's going to be 15 squared. So they're, they're generally some of the numbers that we're going to use. And if you can remember them, that's great. If not, you can still work them out when you're doing some of the questions. Okay, so that's going to be key for us. Okay. With uh, simplifying surds, um, the way I usually think about it is when we're, we're simplifying fractions. So if I was to, to simplify down a fraction, okay, so say I was going to simplify down 8 over 16, okay? So if I was going to simplify that, um, what I could do is I could divide the top and the bottom by 2. So if I divided the top by 2 and I divided the bottom by 2, what I would get from there is I would get 4 on the top. Dividing 16 by 2 would give me 8 on the bottom, okay? So going from there to there by dividing by 2, there to there by dividing by 2 as well. Now what I can see there is 4 upon 8 is correct, I have simplified it down, but, but I've not simplified it fully. And that's, that's something that we need to consider when we're simplifying sorts, we need to do it fully. So what I could then do with this one here, I could divide the top by 4 and the bottom by 4. And what that should give me is the third, sorry, the, the fraction in its uh, simplest form. Okay, and that would give me a half. So this is a way I can also deal with thirds when I'm trying to simplify them, or maybe a more efficient way of doing it would be going from here straight to there by, if I think of dividing by 8, from there to there, dividing by 8, and that gives me my third simplified down in one large jump. Now I don't need to do it in one jump, I can do it in smaller steps if I, if I want, as long as I end up with the simplified version at the end, and not a version that's not um, in its total simplified form. Okay. Right, so let's, let's move on to simplifying the subs now. The first one that I have here is going to be simplifying root 8. Okay. So I'm going to just go back to my square numbers. And what I'm going to be thinking about is I'm looking for a square number that multiplies together to get 8. And if I think about my square numbers, I would need to be thinking about 9's too big, so 4, yep, 4 times 2 I could use. So what I'll go for here is, and the way I'm going to write that out at first, I'm going to just write out an overall root sign here, and I'm going to say that it's 4 times 2, because 4 times 2 will give me 8. What I'm then going to do is you're going to use one of the rules of thirds where if I've got um, the root sign over two numbers, what I can do is just split them out into their individual roots. So that's root 4 times root 2. Okay. I'm then going to take the square root of 4 because I know that from that I'm going to get a number coming out. So that's going to be 2 root 2. Okay. And from there I can't simplify 2 any further 
the only square number below 2 is going to be 1, and that's not going to help me out. So that's going to be my answer for the first simplified uh, root, and that's root 8. And that's a very, very common one that you'll come across uh, through the course uh, in National 5. Let's have a look at 12. So we're going to take the root of 12, so the square root of 12. Right, so it'll be non-calculator work, and what I can do from there is, same as I've done here, I'm going to look for two numbers that multiply together to get 12, one of them being a square number. So if I look at a number that could help me out here, so I'd be looking for numbers that would probably be less than 6, because 2 times 6 would give me 12. Can't use them, because that's not a square number, 6 or the 2. I'm going to use the 4, so that's going to be a 4 times 3. I'm going to do the same as I've done over here with the root 8, so I'm going to split each of these. And what that's going to give me is 2 root 3, and I can't simplify root 3 any further, so that's my answer there. Normally when I'm working these through, and if I'm doing them in, in the class, I won't be putting this line in here, I'll just be going straight from there to there. And that's what I'm going to do from now on. Right, so simplifying root 50. So I'm thinking of a number that multiplies together to get 50, two numbers, and one of them has to be a square number. So if I think about halving 50, that's 25. So if I look there for a number that's 25 or below, yep, I've got 25. What I'll do is I'll use 25 and 2, because 2 times 25 is going to give me 50. I'm then going to take the square root of 25, which is 5, root 2. So 5 root 2 is my answer. Can't do anything more with uh, the root 2. Right. What you can do is you can pause the video at any time and try to do the question. If you try to do the question, then I'll have the answer just uh, a couple of seconds after you've done it. Right, root 20. I'm going to be looking for a square number again, so the one that I can see is 4. So I'm going to go for root 4 and root 5. From there, I've got 2 root 5, and that's my final answer. With 24, I'm looking for a square number, so I'm thinking about half in 24, just so that I've got two numbers that multiply together. So I've got root 12 times 2, no, nope, not a square number. 9 can't help me out. Again, I'm going to 4. Okay. So root 4 times root 6, that's going to give me 2 root 6, and that's my final answer for that one also. So I'm going to look at this one here, okay, and what I've got here is a number that I can look at half of that. So a half of 108 would be 54. So if I look at the numbers that could help me in the, the square numbers that I've generated, well, you know, from, from experience in doing these, what I know is that I've got root 36 I could use, or 36 times a number will allow me to get to 108. So what I'm going to say is that's root 36, and that's root 3, because 3 times 36 will give me 108. From that, I can take a 6 out of here, and that gives me my final answer. Okay. Going, going back to the, the fraction example that I'd given you, if I can do a, a, further, um, a further example, I'll do example G, and what I'll do is I'll try and work out root 32, okay, and I'm going to do it in two ways, because when we looked at the fraction, what we can do is we can do it in steps, or we can do it as a, as a kind of giant leap. Right, so let's look at the first way of doing it. So if I think of a square number that multiplies together to get 32, if I just thought about 4, what I could do is I could write down the square root of 4 and the square root of 8. So what that would give me would be 2 root 8. And I might think that that's me completed that question. But if I look up above in question part A, uh, I've got root 8 and I simplified root 8 down into 2 root 2. So what I can do is I can do some further work with that. I can say that that will be 2 times root 4 times root 2, because root 4 times root 2 gives me root 8. From there I'll take a 2 out of this area here where I can see that root 4 is going to be equal to 2. From there, I'm going to get a final answer coming out, which is going to be 2 times 2, which will give me 4, root 2. Okay. 
what, what I can then do is I can look at it in a, another way. If I think about uh, with 32, there are two num uh, there's a larger square number than 4 that I can use. And what I can use is I can use root 16 times root 2. Because 16 times 2 gives me 32. From there, if I think about the square root of 16, there's 4 root 2 coming out. I've got the same answer, one a bit more efficient than the other, but still both of them correct. I'll give you another example to do. If you could try this one here. So all you need to do is just freeze the video. Try that one there, and I'll go ahead and do the, the work. Okay. 4 root 12. So 4 and 12, that'll give me 2 root 12. But again, I've got a root 12 up at the top here, so I can simplify that down a bit further. So that'll be 2 root 4 root 3, which will equal 2 times 2 root 3, which gives me an answer of 4 root 3. Or, what we can do is just go straight to the answer by thinking about root 16 times root 3, which should give me 4 root 3, which is just a bit, bit more efficient. I would say that the, the numbers like uh, root 8, root 32 and root 48 are really very common uh, questions at National 5 level. Uh, the reason for that is because there is a possibility of working with these and leaving the answer as an unsimplified form. And uh, I think that's uh, just to, to ensure that you, you understand that you can take some of the, uh, the roots further uh, to make sure it's totally simplified. Okay, so that, that's simplifying sorts. That, that's just part one. Let's look at part two. Okay, And what I have here is I have some, some different questions. Instead of just a root, what I have is a, I have a number in front of the root. And what we'll do is we'll try and work some of these through. So all I'm going to do is, similar to what I did up above, would be, I know that I've got a 5 outside the root, but I'm going to split the root down into root 4 and root 2, like I have done up above. From there I've got 5, I'll have a 2 and a root 2. And all I'm going to do is multiply the two numbers together that are outside the root, and that should give me an answer of 10 root 2. Same here. I'm going to look at two numbers that multiply together to get 32. Now, we've just done that one, so hopefully I can remember that that's going to be root 16 and root 2. From the root 16, I'm going to get a 4, and what I'll do is I'll just multiply the numbers together outside the root. That should give me a 12 root 2. 5 root 40, right, okay, so thinking about square numbers again, so a square number that multiplies together to get 40, um, I'm thinking about um, root 4 and root 10, okay, work that through, so that's going to be 5 times 2 root 10, that should give me 10 root 10, and I can't simplify root 10 down any further, so that's going to be my final answer. 2 root 12, what I'm going to have is a 2. The roots I'm going to use, remember they must be square numbers, so I can't use 6 and 2 in this one. I'm going to use 4 and 3. That will be 2 times 2, root 3, giving me 4 root 3. Four and eighteen. Okay, so I've got four outside. What I'll do is I'm going to look at root 9. And root 2. 9 times 2 gives me 18. The square root of 9 is 3. It's going to give me 12 root 2. Final, final question here. We've got 3 root 24. So I've got 3 and what I can break that down into is root 4 and root 3. Oops. Root 4 and root 6. Okay, root 4 and root 6. 4 times 6 gives me 24. Okay, so that, that allows me to break that down. Can't use 12 and 2, because 12 and 2, there's no square number there. If I used 8 and 3, then just remember that root 8 can simplify further, so you'd have a bit further work to do if you used that combination. 
Right, so 3 times 2 root 6, and finally 3 times 2 is going to give me 6. 6 root 6. And I can't break 6 down any further. I could break it down into root 2 and root 3, but unfortunately none of them are square numbers and they won't help me simplify out that third. Okay, so, so that's, that's what's involved in simplifying out the thirds. Um, what we'll be doing next, we'll be looking at adding and subtracting thirds. But I'll finish this uh, video just now, and hopefully you've had a chance to, to do some of these without uh, seeing the solution, and just checking the solution as you go ahead. Okay, so now I hope that uh, you can maths, so good luck.